ഹായ് ഓൾ ഞാൻ ഡിസ്കസ് ചെയ്യാൻ പോകുന്ന ടോപ്പിക് ആംഗുലാർ മൂമെൻറ്റം ആൻഡ് പാരിറ്റി സെലക്ഷൻ റൂൾസ് ഫോർ ബീറ്റ ഡി കെ ലെറ്റ് ഐ ഐ ആൻഡ് ഐ എഫ് ബീറ്റ ആംഗുലാർ മൂമെൻറ്റം ഓഫ് പാരൻ ന്യൂക്ലിയസ് ആൻഡ് ഡോട്ടർ ന്യൂക്ലിയസ് റെസ്പെക്റ്റീവ് ഇഫ് ഐ ഐ ഐ ഈസ് ദ ആംഗുലാർ മൂമെൻറ്റം ഫോർ പാരൻ ന്യൂക്ലിയസ് ആൻഡ് ഐ എഫ് ബി ദ ഡോട്ടർ ന്യൂക്ലിയസ് ദെൻ എൽ ഓർബിറ്റൽ ആംഗുലാർ മൂമെൻറ്റം ഓഫ് ഇലക്ട്രോൺ പ്ലസ് ന്യൂട്രിനോ എസ് പിൻ ഓഫ് ഇലക്ട്രോൺ പ്ലസ് ന്യൂട്രിനോ ദെൻ we can write ii equal to if plus l plus s or delta i equal to ii minus if equal to l plus s in beta transition if beta transition with l equal to 0 it is called allo decays and those with l greater than 0 this refer as forbidden decays or uh, we can say l equal to if l equal to 1 then it is first forbidden and it equal to second forbidden and so on now allowed decays in allowed appro allowed approximation we replace the electron and neutron wave function with their values at the origin that is the electron and neutron have created at r equal to 0 in this case they cannot carry any orbital angular momentum that is for allowed transition l equal to 0 and delta l equal to i i minus i f equal to s we are considering the case in origin and um, we have l equal to 0 and delta l equal to s the only change in angular moment of the nucleus must result from the spin of the electron and neutrino each of which has the value s equal to half the only change of angular moment is due to the spin and uh, its value will be half therefore for allowed dk l equal to 0 delta i equal to s electron and electron and has the value of spin equal to half these two spins can be parallel uh, so total s equal to 1 or anti parallel total s equal to 0 if it is uh, if the spin is parallel it, uh, s will be 1 and if it is anti parallel then s equal to 0 if the electron and neutron spins are anti parallel it is called fermi decay when s equal to 0 we call it as for me dk and when s equal to 1 that is electron and neutron spins are parallel it is called gamma tilde dk in the allowed transition the angular momentum of the nucleus and parity are left unchanged this is true for both fermi and gamma tilde dk in allowed transition uh, there will be no parity change that is parity is the property of nuclear wave function the parity associated with orbital angular momentum l equal to minus 1 raised to l parity is the property of nuclear wave function nuclear wave function la oru property aanu parity nu parnal and uh, its value will be uh, will be represented by orbital angular momentum l that is minus 1 raised to l the parity is positive or negative depending upon the value of l for l or dk delta i equal to ii ഐ മൈനസ് ഐ എഫ് ഇൻറ്റു എസ് ഫോർ ഫെർമി ഡി കെ വി സെ വി ദാറ്റ് ഫെർമി ഡി കെ എസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു സീറോ ദെൻ ദ ഫോർ ഡെൽറ്റ ഐ മോർ ഡെൽറ്റ ഐ ഈക്വൽ ടു സീറോ ആൻഡ് ഫോർ ഗ്യാമോട്ടല്ല ഡി കെ ഇലക്ട്രോൺ ആൻഡ് ന്യൂട്രോൺ കാരിയർ ടോട്ടൽ ആംഗ്ല മൊമെൻ്റ് ഓഫ് വൺ യൂണിറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഐ എൻ ഐ ഐ ആൻഡ് ഐ എഫ് മസ്റ്റ് ബി കപ്പിൾഡ് ത്രൂ എ വെക്ടർ ഓഫ് ലെങ്ത് വൺ ദിസ് ദിസ് ഈസ് പോസിബിൾ ഓൺലി ഇഫ് ഡെൽറ്റ ഐ ഈക്വൽ ടു സീറോ ഓർ വൺ ദ പോസിബിൾ വേസ് ആർ ഷോൺ Uh, here the for in first case there will be a, a change in if one one unit and uh, uh, in the second case they have same magnitude but different direction so if plus one gives ia so from this from both this figure we can say a selection rule for allowed dk are delta i equal to 0 and 1 0, 1 or delta pi the parity change will be no there is no parity change in allowed dk so an example for allowed beta dk are oxygen 14 to nitrogen 14 here uh, it, the parity is 0 plus 2 0 plus there is no change in parity it uh, it is for me type because parity 0 plus gives 0 plus dk is cannot be accomplished through a gamma tilde dk which must be carry one unit of angular momentum so it is fermi type other example 
uh, of par you know, 0 plus to 0 plus r uh, chlorine 34 to sulfur 34 and carbon 10 to boron 10 uh, now helium 6 to lithium 6 this decay is 0 plus to 1 plus which must be a pure gamma transition there is a parity change in it and therefore it is a gamma transition other allowed pure gamma decays include another examples are boron 13 to carbon 13 and its parity 3 by 2 minus 2 1 by 2 minus there is a parity change and palladium 232 thorium 230 that is 2 minus 2 3 minus and sn111 to in111 that is 7 by 2 plus 2 9 by 2 plus there is also a parity change in it now another example new uh, neutron to proton in this case delta i equal to 0 or parity delta uh, half plus it gives half plus and so the both the both the fermi and gamma teller selection rules are satisfied here the, so this is an example for mixed f plus gt transition in which the exact proportions of f and g are determined that is fermi and gamma teller are determined by the initial and final nuclear wave function it is convenient to define the ratio of ratio y of the fermi and gamma teller amplitude that is matrix element we can take its ratio as matrix element y equal to gf mf by ggt mgt mf and mgt are the actual fermi and gamma teller nuclear matrix element gf and ggt are constants determining the strength of the interaction or we can write g square mod mf square equal to gf square mod mf square plus g ggt square mod mgt square in general the initial and final nuclear wave functions may calculating mf and mggt a complicated and difficult process it is uh, in this process in the initial and final nuclear wave function calculating is very complicated and it is difficult process in uh, one special case of the decay the calculation symbol that is the group uh, that is if the group is mirror decay mm -hmm. example for mirror decay is scandium 20 and calcium 20 20 21 here the 21st proton becomes a 21st neutron the, uh, the uh, uh, here uh, in mirror decays the uh, proton and neutron numbers are interchanged so it is called mirror decay and um, mirror decay and the here the 21st proton becomes the 21st neutron so now change of wave function is involved in here the initial and final wave functions are identical except for minor difference due to the coulomb interaction there is only a minor difference due to coulomb interaction and the calculation of mf and mgt can be easily don't for this nuclei the mf and mgt calculation is easy here here gf and mf have the same values as they do not they do for the decay of the free neutron for the neutron decay mod mf equal to one next we have forbidden decay if the parity changes and de uh, delta i exceeds one then the transition is called a forbidden decay if parity there is a, if there is a parity change it is called a forbidden decay and these decays are possible then allowed decay if parity changes and delta i exceeds one then it is then the transition is called forbidden decay these decay are less probable than allowed decays if the allowed matrix elements happen to vanish then the forbidden decays are the only one that can occur such decays are called forbidden even though they occur if uh, if there is uh, no uh, if uh, if the allowed matrix uh, element is element vanish then only we will have forbidden decay it is less probable to occur the most frequent occurrence of the forbidden decay is when the initial and final states have opposite parities mostly uh, that forbidden decay occurs when the initial and final states have the opposite parities Thus the selection rule for allowed decay is violated. 
to accomplish the change in parity the electron and neutron must have emitted with an odd value of the orbital angular moment relative to the nucleus for to change this in this case there is a parity change for for a parity change to occur the electron and neutron must have emitted an odd value of orbital angular moment electron and neutron must uh, emit an angular moment relative to the nucleus which should have an odd value forbidden decays with l equal to 1 are called first forbidden decay and like the hello decays they have fermi types with electron and neutron spin opposite that is s equal to 0 if electron and neutron spin are opposite it is called fermi decay and uh, if will spins are parallel s equal to 1 then it is gamma teller type the coupling of s equal to 1 f is equal to 0 with l equal to 1 for the fermi decay give total angular momentum of one unit carried by the beta decay so that delta i equal to 0 or 1 but not 0 to 0 coupling of s equal to 1 with l equal to 1 for the gamma teller decays gives 0 1 or 2 and also total angular momentum so that delta i equal to 0 1 or 2 coupling of s equal to 0 s equal to 0 with l equal to 1 then it is for fermi decay gives the total angular moment of 1 unit total angular moment will be 1 unit or delta i in value will be 0 or 1 if s equal to 1 with l equal to 1 then delta i value will be 0 1 or 2 there will be all there will also be 2 in this case thus the selection rule for first forbidden decay can be written as delta i equal to 0 1 2 or delta pi the parity changes yes there is a parity change in it examples are nitrogen 17 to oxygen 17 there is uh, half minus 2 5 by 2 plus then br 76 to sc 76 that is 1 minus 2 0 plus sp 122 to sn 122 2 minus 2 2 plus or in or both or all these three cases there is a parity change transition with delta i greater than or equal to 2 but no change in parity are permitted by neither the allowed nor the force forbidden selection rule consequently these l equal to 2 beta emission are known as second forbidden decay l equal to 2 in, in each case l equal to 2 it is known as second forbidden decay and when we couple s equal to 0 or 1 to d equal to 2 the change in nuclear nucleus spin is from delta I equal to 0 to delta I equal to 3 with exception 0 to 0 and half to half the delta I equal to 0 and 1 cases fall within the selection rule for allowed decay excepting these cases the selection rule for second forbidden decays are delta I equal to 2 comma 3 or delta pi the parity changes no there is no parity change in second forbidden decay and uh, if we continue this process we get the third fourth and further decays and the third de uh, third forbidden decay l equal to 3 here the selection rules are delta I equal to 3 comma 4 or there will be a parity change and the fourth forbidden decay l equal to 5 l equal to 4 the selection rule delta i equal to 4 comma 5 there is a pair there is no parity change in it only when no other decay mode is possible we can observe this rare third and fourth forbidden decay in the first case there is a parity change then in second case there is no parity change in the uh, second forbidden decay there is no parity change and third forbidden decay there is a parity change and in fourth there is no parity change